Thank you, Wendell Golerth, very much there at the White House. We want to bring in presidential historian Doug Weed. Doug, uh, great to have you join us. Tell us what your thoughts are on this day. Thanks, Allison. Uh, well, he was a very significant president. There's uh, debate even now. Some rate him as great, but it was uh, cut short, his presidency. So, uh, there wasn't a great legislative uh, record. So um, most say his presidency was significant. Uh, and will be a historical linchpin because of the Cuban uh, Missile Crisis, which uh, was one of the most definitive moments in world history, impacted us uh, internationally and economically for a generation. The space uh, program, uh, his rhetoric, soaring, beautiful rhetoric, we go uh, because it's there. Uh, it was also a time with the CIA gone wild after the Bay of Pigs, Kennedy just couldn't say no to the CIA, and there was the uh, murders of heads of state, the attempted assassination of Castro on two different occasions, which may have come back to bite him. Uh, so it was also a controversial time. The headwaters of the Vietnam War began on his beat, so it was very eventful, even though it was a short time, and very significant presidency. As you know, Doug, through, I mean, you can flip on any TV station uh, around the country this week, and you see specials commemorating his life and also examining his death. And we here at the Fox News Channel did our own report just two weeks ago. And we wanted to look into the possibility about the theorists, the conspiracy theorists, and whether or not they have a point and whether or not they can prove it. And uh, I would say mixed results in the end through our investigation, uh, inconclusive. But why is it now, five decades later, that we are still fascinated with the mystery of his assassination? Well, it's because the, <laughs> the Warren Commission did a very poor job. We may debate whether or not there was a conspiracy to kill President Kennedy. It's pretty hard to debate that there was a conspiracy <laughs> uh, from the, for the Warren Commission to do a poor job. It was President Kennedy after his assassination. He was a saint. No one wanted to touch him. Uh, no television executive, no publisher, editor, no politician on either side of the aisle was about to bring up these loose ends, the mafia, uh, some uh, out-of-marriage relationships, the... Uh, uh, the issue with the attempt on the life of Castro. None of this was going, dirty laundry was going to be aired, and so all of these loose ends were untied. I actually had Gerald Ford, who was one of the seven members of the Warren Commission, in my home on a couple of different occasions, and as he grew older, he regretted that they weren't able to uh, do work that was more definitive and get more answers. He, he told you that, huh? He did. And you know, uh, Bill, Allison, I, I believe that our children will know uh, what really happened. I don't think it's going to happen in my lifetime. It, it, we're just now learning of all the details of FDR. It's fascinating to me, and it gives me confidence that perhaps history will catch up to this. But there were too many political forces at work. Nobody really wanted to know all of these details. But Are that, there that's, compelling? That, that's fascinating what you're saying, that our children will know. How will they figure it out definitively? Well, I'll tell you what, if you'll read some of the books right now about FDR and some of the new books coming out about uh, John Kennedy, uh, Robert Dalek's book, other, there just is evidence and testimony that comes forward. And uh, when people who know the Kennedys personally or may have a political agenda pass and historians look at just the evidence carefully, more detail begins to emerge. I'll say this, I saw a poll recently that said 80% of members of the media believe in the lone gunman theory, 70% of the American public believe in a conspiracy, and most people don't realize that in 1979, the House Select Committee on Assassinations, bipartisan, concluded that it was a conspiracy. So we will wait, we will wait to see. At least you're not crazy if you believe that now. Doug Weed, thanks so much for your perspective and all of your historical context. Great to talk to you. Uh, I know you'll be standing by, and of course, we will come back to this as soon as we get word that it is just beginning. So today, then you.